We've talked about swimming here before, but this week we're diving even deeper. For that story, we go to Brent. That, that was, was good. good. Let me say it one more time. Hey Wildcats, welcome to another edition of Wildcat TV on Comcast 15 and AT&T U verse 99. I'm Deja Walters. We've talked about swimming here before, but this week we're diving even deeper. For that story, we go to Brett. Hey Wildcats, the boys swim team has showed a huge improvement this year, going from 4-12 and last season to already 12-2 and with two meets to go. I caught up with coach Kevin Bigham to talk about the improvements made by the team this year. So I'm here with coach Kevin Bigham and coach, what major contributions do you feel you've made to turn the team around this year? Um, well, the first day I came in for practice, I really wanted everyone to have the correct mindset. I wanted everyone just to focus on what we were doing in that moment, focus on what we can do to improve, and not worry about anything else that we can't control. So what kind of atmosphere do you provide that makes the players want to come to practice and want to improve? Um, I feel like student athletes perform the best when they're having fun and they're enjoying what they're doing. So every time they come to practice, I still make sure we get the work in that we need to do. But ultimately, I want the kids to enjoy themselves, have fun, feel comfortable, and know that it's a place that they're going to enjoy coming every day. Next, I talked to senior captain Jake Hubbard about improvements he's made as well as the team. So I'm here with Jake, and uh, Jake, what do you think is the main reason for the huge turnaround this year? Um, I think one of the main reasons is um, Coach Kevin Bigham. He's done an awesome job. Um, he's gave us some great technique work and some really hard workouts, which have really um, helped us improve a lot this year. And uh, where do you feel you've improved the most this year? Uh, I've improved um, all around as a better swimmer and a better person. Well, thank you very much. All right, thank you. As you can see, a lot of factors have led to the boys' large improvement this year, but probably none bigger than the fun and loose environment provided by Coach Bigham. Isn't that right, guys? Yeah! yeah! Signing off for Wildcat TV, I'm Brett Tiemann. I hope somebody got them in a towel. And a new phone. Next time, check your pockets, Brett. Several gave blood last week, but even if you weren't one of those people, Chrysera can still give you an inside look at what the process entailed. This past Thursday, this gym was full of people donating their blood. Here's a quick recap. There are two types of donations. There is automated red blood cell donation and whole blood donation. And the automated red blood cell donation, they're going to make you feel more comfortable and it's just going to be your plasma and your platelets. Or there's a traditional whole blood donation where they take the blood directly from your vein. Once you're done donating, you'll sit in an area where you'll be given all the food and all the drinks to help your body go back to normal. If you miss out on this one, don't worry, there's one next spring. Thanks to all who came out and supported and donated their blood. Signing up for Wildcat TV, I'm Chrysler Johnson. Don't you want to remember these awkward high school years forever? Of course you do. So here are Maddie and Carolyn with an advertisement for this year's yearbook. I already bought one. <laughs> Thanks guys, be sure to get your orders in. Now we'll be right back after this commercial break. Hey Wildcats, Matt Mitchell down here at Culver's over on 7 Highway. If you're not in the neighborhood of the Blue Springs Culver's, feel free to visit us at our other location on Little Blue Parkway in Independence, just off I-70. That's right, two local Culver's restaurants just for you. We are approaching our 10th birthday. We've been serving this delicious food in Blue Springs for 10 years, and we just wanted to say thank you for supporting your locally owned hometown Culver's restaurant. Come enjoy some of that tasty stuff you just saw. See you at Culver's.
Mod Pizza is a Seattle-based store that offers a unique relaxed vibe. They offer a variety of drinks and are known for their wall of fame that showcases pictures from the community. Mod is a make-your-own pizza establishment that offers numerous toppings for your own personal pizza. If pizza isn't your thing, they also have many salads and milkshakes that will satisfy all your cravings. Not only is Mod the next Friday night hangout spot, but it uses an 800 degree oven that cooks in just a few minutes to perfection. Mod. Speed. Style. Pizza. Reminder, College Fair is tonight at Little Springs South from 6.30 to 8 p.m. Over 100 schools will be in attendance. You don't want to miss it. And we have returned. Keely got a little tied up this week, so we'll be getting our sports announcements from Garrett and Taryn. Hey Wildcats, this week we're talking about girls cross country team and the girls golf team. Here's Garrett with Tessa and Elena. So how did you guys perform at your Laker 5K? I took first by a lead of 30 seconds and I got a huge PR by 18.29. So what are you looking forward to coming up here in conference? Um, I'm looking forward to getting another shot at Giacomo and trying not to trip this time. Well, there you have it. Good luck, girls. Now here's Jordan Marshall with the girls' golf team. I'm here with Jordan Marshall. So what's your best 18-hole score this year? An 82. And what is it like working with the other girls, even though it's an individual sport? Um, well, we all have a really good relationship. We all practice together and encourage each other, even though we don't play together. Awesome. So. Do you think you could beat me in mini golf? Probably. <laughs> Bet. <laughs> Congratulations and good luck to all you girls. Signing off for Wildcat TV, I'm Terrence Still. And I'm Garrett Tomatoes. Hmm. Nice job, guys. Who was playing that music? Hey, it's not funny anymore, guys. Okay, you know what? I guess we'll just work with it. that was. Well then I'll make sure I buy a ticket, and you should too. Next we want to highlight a student who's been running toward being the best. Megan has more. Hey Wildcats, I caught up with Victor Mageshe to get a little insight on the team's win at the Capital City Invitational. So could you tell me a little bit about the meet and how long it was? Yeah, so um, uh, we run a 5k uh, every time, every race. Uh, it's uh, 3.1 miles and uh, yeah, that actually the course we ran at was at the state course but it wasn't the state meet. And it was, it was nice to run it so we can get a like, state preview. So. so have you ran it before? Yeah, actually last year we went to this meet and we actually won last year too. So it was pretty exciting to win again. And you actually won the meet and the whole team overall actually won too. So that's awesome. Yes. I then talked to the boys cross country coach, Coach Gallick, for more of Victor's accomplishments. His, so far this year he's had a very successful season. He's undefeated. He's won every race that he's ran in. He's ranked... Um, he set, had a personal best of 15-11 at Aquinas, and then a big race up at uh, 
Rimrock uh, two weeks ago and this past weekend, the Capital City Invitational that you mentioned. He uh, set a new course record and he's just six seconds off of the actual overall course record on that and he won by 45 seconds this last Saturday. We're very proud of all of your accomplishments, Victor. Good luck with the rest of your season. Sounding off for Wildcat TV, I'm Megan Trent. Awesome job, Victor. Keep on running and we'll be right back. Quality over quantity, we say quality and quantity. Not only do you get a great offer, but your Papa John's order will help support the Blue Spring School District Activities Program. We're more than a pizza company, we're a pizza family. Papa John's. It's that time of year again. Our creative cats are selling scented candles and soaps. To place an order or receive further information, contact Ms. Strong. Hey, thanks guys for sitting tight. We now welcome you back with our third Mental Health Minute. Hey Wildcats, my name is Mrs. Fry. I'm one of the counselors here at Blue Springs High School. And today I would like to talk to you about sleep. Sleep is definitely underrated. I know all of you love to get good sleep, but just a few tips to make sure that you're getting the best quality sleep that you can get. Because poor sleep actually impairs our decision making, our memory, and decreases our overall health, physically, mentally, and emotionally. And over the long haul, that can really take a toll. So think about where you sleep at night. Make sure it's cool and comfortable. Make sure that the electronics are not in your room, so feel free to put those cell phones somewhere else. You also can remove your TV and um, make sure that you have a good consistent routine every night. So do the same things. Get a good bedtime routine and wake up at the same time every morning so then you're refreshed and ready to come in. This is a Mental Health Minute from Mrs. Fry. That wraps up this episode of Wildcat TV. Thanks for tuning in, and as always, it's a great day to be a Wildcat.